we've gotten a little further on our Wii whiteboard project. Uh, in fact, we have uh, our own remote built out of uh, Radio Shack parts. You can see there's a switch on the front here. Uh, inside, there's an end battery hooked all together, just like on the website. If you go to TomSexer.com, you can see it there. Uh, we took the guts out of a, a permanent marker, and it's made of incredibly good uh, pin. In the Wii Moat whiteboard project, uh, we left off not knowing where we were going to put, one of the problems was where we are going to put the remote. Well, the where it needs to go is underneath the projector, as you can see here. We're just using clear tape right now, but we'll find a better system, uh, probably include Velcro, so forth. And once you do that and get it in the right position, uh, it's time to do a demonstration with the real pins that we just got built for $10 each from Radio Shack. Okay, I just wanted to show you a little bit demo how I might use it too. Is the Wii whiteboard software if you click on the minimize, you probably get it out of the way right off the bat so it doesn't take up any of your screen. Uh, next thing is maybe you're just trying to show how to run a web browser. And you have some uh, bookmarks, like how to create an infrared pin. You just click. Maybe you want to go to Google Maps, uh, so forth. It's just really pretty natural. You can just click and drag, just like you'd think you'd be able to. You can also launch a PowerPoint. This is how a lot of teachers would probably use uh, this $50 whiteboard system. Launch your PowerPoint. This happens to be the library program we just purchased. Come up and say, start present view show. And then you just click. And actually, if you want to just point it at the Wii Remote, it could be a clicker that way. So it's another way of kind of using it, just a little bit different. Show off my musical skills in GarageBand with the on-screen keyboard. a little easier with uh, one like this. But. 